the heart of Billings, Montana, on the east side of the city, is a big rim that overlooks all of Billings, Montana. Rim Rock and Billings go together hand in hand. As a matter of fact, Rim Rock is such a big deal in Billings that over my right shoulder here is the Rim Rock Mall, but over my left shoulder is the mini Rim Rock Mall. They cannot get enough Rim Rock here in Billings. Some final thoughts on this final day here in Billings, Montana. First and foremost, uh, this was a magnificent uh, week as far as weather is concerned. Today, Friday, December 8th in Billings, Montana, it's in the mid 50s. No snow on the ground here in the big sky country. Uh, we saw a little bit of snow on the first day that we were here, but uh, it slowly got warmer and here we are uh, with mid, mid 50s temperatures. So uh, a little bit of information for you regarding Billings. Billings was founded in 1882 by Frederick Billings, a president or the president of the Pacific Northern Railroad. Frederick wanted this to be a big railroad center uh, it is also known as the Magic City because once uh, Billings was established, it grew very, very quickly, like magic. So hence the term, the Magic City. The people here are probably a little different than the other folks that are Montanans. More blue collar. Uh, there's less tourism uh, in, in Billings than there is in the other cities this is the largest city in the state of montana uh, it is known for bison burger uh, bison in general people love bison steaks and bison burgers and is also known for a berry called a huckleberry uh, i did not have an opportunity to try it while i was here but really wanted to um, and it's also known for a other berry called a choke berry which has supposedly uh, some amazing properties uh, regarding health, uh, inflammation of joints, uh, along with uh, many other things, lowers blood pressure and whatnot. So uh, that's a lot of what Montana is about besides the tourism, a lot of skiing to the uh, western side of the state. And it just was an overall good time. So thanks to the folks that I was here doing business with, uh, thanks to Stella's, the establishment, the local establishment that I had uh, breakfast at today. It was amazing. Great people. Thanks to Nathan and Jennifer there for their amazing hospitality. And uh, next week, Draz talks back on the road again to another state with mountains, but probably not Rocky Mountain material. You'll find out in a couple of weeks, though, so I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye now.